The Syracuse Crunch one step away from the second round. A thrilling 3-2 win over St. John's last night has the Crunch potentially surviving and advancing here in the Calder Cup playoffs. We're so happy to have live in studio now Crunch Center Corey Conacher. And Corey, I know it's your one off day. So we appreciate you spending it with us. Thank you so much well, for the time. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having Take me through that game we just saw though last night. What you saw and what you were able to do to break that 2-2 tie and come away with the victory. Uh, yeah, you know, I think uh, last night's game was uh, the one positive out of it was was we won. I think uh, it was a little a bit of a step back. Um, you know, we had a couple too many turnovers and and, and miscues, but um, it's it's a good goalie in net and, and some and some solid decor because. Uh, you know, like I said, the turnovers almost cost us, but it was nice to get that win. How do you approach game four tomorrow, knowing that you win and you advance, but also knowing that they're going to be playing pretty desperately as well? Yeah, for sure. They're, they have a good team. They have a lot of scoring power, and it, it's going to be on us to, to play the full 60 minutes tomorrow. You know, we, we're going to expect their best, and, and we definitely have to bring our best. And, um, you know, playoffs is all about getting better every game, and, and uh, it's going to be nice to have the home crowd in front of us, and hopefully we can use that that atmosphere to, to get the two points. And speaking of that home atmosphere, I mean, it was electric on a Wednesday night. It'll be even better on a Friday night. What is it like, playoff hockey, when you kind of feel like the crowd's on top of you and knowing, you know, exactly what's on the line here, surviving and advancing? Oh, you know, it's, it's you're going to war with, with, with your teammates and you're, it's, you're considered a family and, and it's, it's all about sacrificing yourself and, and, and for the team. And, um, you know, it's not the best players that are going to win the game, it's the best team that's going to win the game. So it's, it's important for us to understand that and, and like I said, just take control of the puck, uh, you know, limit the turnovers and, and, and limit their, their scoring uh, players to, to, to get on the board and, and that's what we need to do tonight, or tomorrow night. Sorry. And last thing I'll ask you, for you personally, what would it mean to, not to get ahead of ourselves, but to go and eventually perhaps get this cup with this group of guys? Uh, you know, fortunately, I've been on the winning and losing side of things in the finals, and, and obviously, you have to win. Uh, you know, the first round to get to, you know, to the second to the finals, and um, y you know, we have a good group there. We have, you know, four lines that can put the puck in that, and we have, you know, a good, good uh, decor. And uh, like I said, we have two good goalies, so I think we have the group that can can make it a long way. And um, but we can't get too ahead of ourselves. You know, tomorrow night's gonna be our, a good test, and, and hopefully, we can get off uh, on the right note. Corey Conacher, thank you so much for thank the time. You. You're playing hockey when it's 80 degrees. That's always fun, right? Oh, I bet. Hopefully you're playing when it's 90 and when can I push 100 maybe? <laughs> June, right? We're back to you guys at the desk. <laughs> we don't get there that much, but no. uh, we're, we're glad they're still playing now. Oh, yeah. Wayne, yeah. fun to see these guys. It is. So well. a As a big Great hockey guys. guy yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah.